All right, so setting your frame rate is very, very easy. You just have to go to the same place that you went to uh, when you were choosing your resolution. So on the Nikon camera, you just have to go to the movie settings and just go to the frame size, frame rate. So last time we selected the frame, rise, uh, frame size or the resolution, and this time we're gonna select this other number is showing as the frame rate. And this is gonna remain the same no matter which camera you have is usually selected right from where you select the resolution. So I have three options you can see here. I have got, um, 24 frames per second, I've got 30 frames per second, and I have got 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna select, like, I've, like we discussed, this is one of the most commonly used frame rates. So I'm gonna select 24, and you can see our resolution is also selected the correct one, like we've discussed before. So this is done, and now what I need to do is I just need to select the shutter speed. So make sure that you're, you are on the manual mode, that is this top dial here is set to manual, and in some cameras, like for example, the Nikon camera, you have to also just select this option called manual movie settings and make them on. That means you're telling your camera that I'm gonna select the shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. And later on in this course, we're gonna be going one by one to all these three settings. Right now, we're only gonna be uh, talking about shutter speed because that's what we have discussed. Right, so this, these are the options that come in front of you. So I'm gonna select, so remember I've selected 24 frames per second. That means my shutter speed, this first number, will be set to one by 50, right? Because we don't have one by 48. So this is, right now don't worry about these numbers at all. We're gonna discuss them later, aperture and ISO. We're only concentrated on this. So we've got our frame resolution done. We've got our frame rate done. We've got our shutter speed set to one by 50. So we are really moving ahead and we're just left with these two settings which we are going to discuss. Now let's say if we had selected uh, something like 30 frames per second. In that case, what I would have done is I would have selected one by 60. So you can move around this dial. If you already don't know that, you can just move around this command dial, uh, this black wheel that you see sometimes is on top to just change your uh, shutter speed. That's how you change the shutter speed. You'll eventually find it in your camera. All cameras have some different mechanism, but usually is the black uh, command dial to do that. So I've set it to uh, one by 60 here. And, but of course, right now my frame rate is not 30, it's 24, so I'm gonna go back to one by 50. Now I'm all set to move on to the next setting. So I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna be talking about aperture, which is this setting here. I'll see you there, bye for now. All right, so if you have a Canon camera, just set your camera to the video mode, just like we've seen before. Go to your menu, just press the menu button like this, and then you gotta to go to the video options, the second one where we selected our resolution from, movie recording size and just click and you can see that we've got the 1080p with 24 fps and the 1080p with 25 fps so that those are the options that i've got in this camera so of course i'm going to select like we've discussed the 24 fps and a resolution is set and then i just you can see my shutter speed here i'm just going to change it to 50 or that actually means one by 50. You're just not seeing the uh, numerator. So that is one by 50. So we're all set on your Canon camera also. So it doesn't matter which camera you have, you'll find a way to do this. I'll see you in the next video.